I like to think of myself as something of a magician. Today, I'm going to do a little bit of magic. I have a water sprinkler here watering the concrete. And I'm going to turn that water into a colorful mist. I'm going to do so by walking this direction here. Oh, there it is. There it is. You can see it. What is it? What is it? It's getting brighter and brighter. And now, there's not only some right in here, there's also a little bit showing up in here. If you look closely, you can see both of them. The second one is here, and the first one is here. That is the rainbow. We're making raindrops, or drops, of water that are refracting and focusing the light from the sun. And they're sending it back in the direction of my camera. And the color separation comes about because of the strong dependence of uh, the refractive index of light for water droplets, meaning that the water tends to bend light of different colors in different directions. So we get that color separation coming about. We also have brightness. The brightness is coming because the droplets focus light in the backward direction near the rainbow angle, which is almost in the backward direction. The sun is shining through to make shadow on uh, the ground there, shadow from the trees, so you can tell the sunlight is more or less at my back there. And so that is our magic uh, for today. We're making color in our mist of water by actually just using the optics of the raindrop. Well, people have been interested in this undoubtedly since the first comprehending eyes managed to uh, see the rainbow. Uh, philosophers from uh, from antiquity have been interested in this. Rene Descartes, for example, is one who worked out the rainbow angle based on strong focusing of light coming through a raindrop. So that's our demonstration for today. Thank you.